it is now that we are going to start working on our sign in component. Our sign up component is done now. We are able to allow the user to register, sign up, and have their information stored in the database. So now let's get started on the sign in component. And as always, I have, well, in the sign in component, right now we are just returning the simple p tag. So if I go to the application here, we see inside sign in component. Now, I want to say one thing before I get started, and that is that sign-in component is going to be almost exactly the same as our sign-up co sign component. And because of that, that means that I am going to be, I am going to have the opportunity to do a lot of copy and pasting things for my sign-up component into my sign-in component. So a lot of copy and pasting because it's going to be very identical. And that being said, because of that, that's just going to make things a lot easier for us. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So here, component state. In my sign-in component, I'm going to start creating my state. As I said, I'm going to do a lot of copy and pasting. So let's go to our sign-up component, and I'm going to copy this portion here and paste that right into our sign-in component. There are a few things though we don't need. That is username, password two, which was for our confirmation, and sign uh, success message. We also don't need that because once the user successfully signs in, we are going to redirect them. So there's not going to be no time to show them any message. So I'm going to remove that. Error message. Don't need that. Loading yes, and. We are also going to add a new property, and that is called redirect, redirect to dashboard. And by default, it's going to be false. Okay, so this property here is going to be set to true once the user signs in successfully. And and based on that, the user will it will be determined whether the where this is going to be a regular user or an admin. And redirect them to the appropriate dashboard okay so we took care of that so the component state created and let's go ahead and destructure that state so no different similar to how we did here in our sign up component let's go here and destructure that but we don't need username password two success message and we have this new property here. So we have to add that there. There we go. So we destructured the state. Now we need to import use state. See, we're using it here, but we don't have access to it. We have to import that from React. So use state, save. All right, so we have use state imported. Next, show sign in form. Sign in form, go back to a sign up, sign up component. And you see we have show sign up form. We're going to copy all that here. All right, go into the sign in component. And right over here, we're going to paste that in. Do some adjustment here. Show sign in form. It's going to be quote, called show sign in form. And we're going to make some adjustments on the input fields. Uh, the username, we don't need username, so remove this block here. Username, uh, email, we need that. Password, we need that. Password number two, which was for the confirmation password, we don't need that. So go ahead and remove that. Sign up button, call this sign in button. And here, sign in. Okay. And over here, if they're on the sign in form, uh, uh, sign in component, it'll be uh, don't 
don't have an account and then when I have a link next to it to sign up send them to sign up and instead of saying log in it's gonna be register here okay so if they're in so if they're in the signing component and they realize well they don't have they haven't registered yet they're gonna have this link here to redirect them to to send them to the register form or the sign up form okay so that should be it for that okay mark that off show signing form created and we need to import the link and a link and the reason why we need to import link is because over here in show sign in form we are using a link here right but we don't have access to it so we need to import that from react router dom all right and that is the link that we're trying that we want to use Okay, so we imported the link. Now render the output. As I said here in the sign in component, all we are, we are rendering or is this right here, this p tag. Let's go to our sign up component. And we're gonna copy that portion, the return from that and paste that in here. We're gonna replace that and paste that in here. Okay, there are some adjustments we have to make. The success message, remember, we're not using that. The error message, we are using, loading yes, and show sign up form. We have to change that to sign in form. And I'm gonna remove that here. Okay, so render output, we rendered the output. And now import background image into app CSS. You know what, what I'm gonna do here is because right now you see we have these errors here and because of those errors, we have, we, we also have them shown here. Now, if I go ahead and try to take care of this importing the background image, I'm still going to get the errors. So it it doesn't make any it doesn't have any use. So I what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the order in which we take care of that. I want to place at the very end and and then take care of these errors before we can um, go ahead and use uh, or place our background image. Okay. All right. So the next thing is here event handlers. Okay, so again, similar to sign up component, we need two event handlers, which which is uh, let's go to that section here, which is handle change and handle submit. So let's go ahead and copy this handle change, go into sign in component, and right above views, go ahead and paste that in there. And the only thing we have to change here is this here, the success message. We don't need that. So remove that. And I'm going to remove this console log also. Save. And you see the error for the handle change is gone. OK. And one more thing here is we also need this handle submit. So let's go ahead and take care of that. Copy handle submit go back to our signing component and we'll paste that under the handle change but we're going to remove a lot of stuff here uh, so remove everything except this event prevent default okay save so now the error message goes away for handle submit so just one more thing we have to do here is we need to import these two here, show error message and show loading. But let's mark this off here that we took care of the event handlers. Okay, so let's go ahead and import show error message. Okay, so here, import from 
let's see, we gotta go back one directory, go into helpers, and then go message. Right, so if I go to my helpers, pull up that file, and this is the method I wanna use, show error message, okay? So let's go back here, and that's the method I wanna use, show error message, and you can see here that that, mess, that error we had before is gone. So now all we have is an error for show loading, and we're gonna take care of that here, and we're gonna import that, import, from, go back one directory, it's also in the helpers folder, but this one is inside loading file. Okay, let me close this message here file, and now let me go to my helpers folder and, and get the loading file, and this is the message I wanna use, this is the method I wanna use, show loading. Go to my sign up component, and that's, what I want to use, show loading. Let's go ahead and take a look here what we got. So we can see that the sign in component here is, it's working now, right? It looks it looks exactly identical, but we're gonna make this, we're, we're gonna change that up right now, right? In the, in the, in the sign in form, we're gonna change this background image here. So it has its own uh, unique uh, look to it, okay? But, but we see that it's working, so that's good. Let's go back to our notes. So we imported the show error message and we imported our show loading. So the final thing, as I said, we are gonna import that background image into our app.css so it can be used inside the sign-in component. Okay, so we are going to, I have, I have uh, this open right here. Uh, this is the image that I'm going to use here. I had it ready for us. And this is the background image that I'm going to use. So what I'm going to do here is uh, inside my client, source, components, I'm going to bring that inside there. So I'm going to drag and drop that right inside there. And then now the next thing I have to do is I have to go and I have to open up my um, app.css and I'm going to copy this here and paste that there and I'm going to change the name instead of sign up container I'm going to call it sign in container. And I'm also going to have to change this here because the name of the image was is image dash sign in dash background. So let me change that to here. And the final thing we need to do is inside the sign in component is right over here. We have to change that class name from sign up container to sign in container, right? And if we look, look, isn't that, isn't that nice? So we have our register form and then our sign in form. Much different look to it and it, it works, okay? So that's it, that's all we have for this video right now. Uh, we took care of everything here, so let's mark that off. And we're done, so I'll see you in the next video.